Hi, uh, everybody wanted me, or some people wanted me to make a video on how I make gummies, so here's how I do it. Um, you just got to get your THC into your oil, your um, coconut oil, however you choose to do that. What I do is I just take either my flour or key for whatever I'm using, um, I put it into a jar such as this one with my oil, put it into the Instapot uh, on high for about an hour and 20 minutes. And then I've got this stuff, um, you know, strain it off if you're using flour, what have you. Um, so I need a half cup of oil, which I hope I have here left. Oh yeah, perfect. Exactly a half cup. So you need a half cup of your oil. Pan is cool. It's a little warm, but it's not on or anything. Um, when you do apply heat, make sure it's low. Um, you need a half cup of oil. You can use water, but I like to use juice just to give it a little more flavor. So a half cup of juice, so we're going to do like a half cup of this watermelon juice here. Pour that into the mix. And then you're going to need two of these pure gelatin packs, unflavored gelatin packs. Um, you can buy them at the store, it's like five bucks for this big box. And you get a ton in there. Um, but we're going to add the lecithin first. You're also going to need this. It's lecithin. Um, you can get this at uh, like Whole Foods, I think we got it at, right? Going to Whole Foods? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whole Foods. So you get these granules. You're going to need a half, um, or you're going to need a tablespoon of this. So you just add a tablespoon of that to your mixture here. And then you're going to turn your heat on real low, like two and a half, real low. Um, and then you need a whisk. Where the hell's our whisk? It's yeah. So you're just going to whisk this lecithin and the gelatin and all that good stuff um, until it dissolves. But I just, I like to do the lecithin first before I add the gelatin in. So again, your heat's going to be on nice and low and you're just going to keep stirring this like so. And again, this is our coconut oil infused with just a little bit of juice. So half cup coconut oil, half cup juice. Whatever your flavor is. You can use water too, like I said, but it, I think it's gonna be better with juice. Um, then, this is the long boring part. So I'll have her pause. All right, so this is nearly mixed up, or at least it's partly dissolved, and you can see it's kind of changed consistency and color. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the unflavored gelatin while we stir. Mix that up. Make sure you stir the entire time you do this. You don't want it to get too hot. If it does get too hot, you can see I keep my fingers on the pan here. Just so I can see how hot it's getting. So we mix that in. And then whatever flavor gelatin you choose. We're going to do strawberry this time. We got watermelon juice in there, so... This should be a good flavor. 
We're just going to use a small gelatin or jello packs. You know, we've got the two different sizes. Use the 85 gram ones, the small ones. So we're going to just mix this in as we keep stirring. And what that lecithin does, and it's a very key ingredient, is it keeps everything from separating essentially. So you don't end up with gummies that have all the cannabis oil on the bottom or the top. It just basically separates. Half the gummy will be gelatin, half the gummy will be oil. So the last thing keeps that from happening, it keeps it all together. So we're just going to keep stirring this until it's a smooth consistency. You're going to get air bubbles in here and stuff like that. It's not a big deal. Um, you just want to get it as mixed out as possible. That lecithin is the hardest thing. The granules, they, they sell liquids and stuff like that too. You can get lecithin oils and liquids or whatever, but you get a lot more in that container for the price. I think it was like five bucks for that whole container. So looks like we're about ready here. I'm going to turn the heat off. Alright. Oh, I'm going to stir it a little longer. I see a lot of less than still. But basically, we just want to make sure that this is all dissolved. And then we're going to take this syringe here and inject it into our candy molds. You don't have to put anything on the candy molds or anything like that. It won't stick. And then the candy molds just go into the freezer for half an hour. Now when they come out, you will have gummies um, and it literally only takes like half an hour. It's best to store them in the fridge. Um, helps if you have somebody in the household to keep stirring your mixture while you do this so it doesn't separate. But this is basically all you're doing. Just filling these candy molds up. Just like so. And if you guys want to see how I make my infusions with the Instapot, let me know. I mean, most of you probably already know how to make infusions. But some people wanted to know how to make gummy, so this is the recipe I use. Nice and easy. So after I fill these up, got a little worms. After I fill these up, we'll put them in the freezer and then I'll show you guys when they're all done. So you can go ahead and stop. So after you fill, if you don't have enough 
candy trays. You can just dump the rest into a Tupperware container and uh, throw that into the freezer as well. And then once it's done, it'll just be a slab of gummies. You can cut into squares or whatever. Um, some people coat these in sugar when they're done, things like that. Um, I just throw them in a Tupperware container and put them in the fridge. So, that's that. Don't fall over, boy. <laughs> That on. There you go. That's how you make gummies. Half an hour from now, you got gummies. You just pop them out of the molds. I'll show you that when I'm when I'm done in a half an hour. Bye. All right. So got them done. Didn't even take a half an hour. So all you're gonna do is just push these out. Oh. And I'm just going to put them into this thing that I've got the remainder in. Looks like they could have sat in there a little longer. But easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, they could have sat in there a little longer. That's fine. They're going back to the fridge anyway. Just a little heart. Well, yeah, that's it. done deal and then when you're done um some people like to coat them in sugar just keep them from sticking to stuff um i haven't had a problem with them sticking to stuff so i just throw them in the fridge on top of the the remainder that i put in there that slab that i can cut up later into squares and then uh put to get the lid on my tupperware and close it up Put it in the fridge. It's fine. Little worm. These are for us, so yeah, I'm not wearing gloves or nothing. Nice and easy. They just pop right out. Probably do more than one at a time. One don't want to come out. But you see what I'm saying? See how they're uniform? They're not separated or anything like that. That's what that lecithin does. Is keeps them from separating. Here's the big guys. The bears. These ones take twice as much to fill up. Usually I only need one or two of, well, we only need one or two of these a night. Most people probably wouldn't even be comfortable with one of these, but <laughs> this oil's pretty strong. I put an ounce into um, about two cups of oil, a little less than two cups of oil. Actually, it was about, what, a cup and a half? <laughs> so an ounce into a cup and a half of oil. Normally, you'd want to put like an eighth or a quarter into the oil. But I like to get her done. And there we have it. Bunch of gummies. Thanks for watching.